Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here. We're going to do a beer review today. This one is by Coronado Brewing Company. And uh, it's called Never Bitter Double India Pale Ale. And this is what the can looks like. Okay. Um, it says Unfiltered Tropical Dank. Uh, let's see. They're in Coronado, California. Brewed and canned by Coronado Brewing Company, Coronado, California. And uh, it's, a, it's a champion mid sized brewing company and brewmaster champion. So I've had one, uh, one or two of their beers before and it was pretty damn good. Um, this one comes in at 8.1% alcohol by volume. And this is a pint can. I got a six pack of these for like 14 bucks out the door at Total Wine and More. It says brewed with a vibrant blend of Vic Secret, Mosaic, and Citra. This double IPA is bursting with hop flavors and tropical mango, passion fruit, and resinous pine. One sip and you'll go from good to never better. Okay. It's got some digital here. It's like, looks like 10, 10. I'm not, I can't really read it, but uh, I've seen this before, I just never grabbed it, but I decided to go for it today, and uh, hopefully it's fresh, I, I can't read the digital code that's on the bottom because it's kind of messed up, something happened when they put it on there, it's not, it's not readable. Well, I never had this before, so let's get it cracked open and give her a go. Ooh, I can smell the hops already. Wow, it smells good. Get a little aggressive on this pour here. Yeah, I can smell the hops already, and it smells good. Do the aroma from back here. <laughs> wow, that smells really good. Awesome. Okay. I mean, eight point one percent alcohol and six pints for fourteen bucks. That's not a bad deal. That's a pretty good deal. It is a double. Okay, so we got a monster, frothy, creamy, silky looking head. And we have a slightly hazy uh, amber color. There's a little bit of slight haze to it going there. Looks pretty good so far. Can see through it though, but not very good. Head's gone rocky. There's some bubbles streaming up from the bottom. Decent looking beer, I must say. Alright. Alright, we have a pretty hardcore donut on top here. Really nice looking malt here. Alright, let's get another moment on this puppy. Oh, right up front, it's like tropical fruits. It smells fantastic. Passion fruit, mango, pineapple, grapefruit. Mango, yeah, orange, like everything. Pine. It smells excellent. Let's try to get the rest in here. A hardcore donut on top. 
That is awesome smelling. <clears throat> Something tells me I'm going to be glad I picked this up. It does have all the notes that it said on the can. Um, passion fruit, yes. Mango, tropical. Resinous pine, yes. All those are there for sure. And then some. All of the above, pretty much. All right, let's get a hit. Cheers. Check that head out. <laughs> awesome. Cheers. Mm. Mm. That is good. Tastes fresh, so I, I think you got lucky on that, even though I couldn't read the, um, the, the print on the bottom. It tastes pretty fresh. Taste follows the aroma. Let's get another hit. Cheers. Mmm. That's very tasty. Um, there's kind of like an earthy kind of spice hop in there as well in the sip that I didn't pick up on the aroma. That's very excellent. It's got medium mouthfeel. A very nice uh, medium mouthfeel. Goes down good. Let's try it again, see if we can pick up something else. Cheers. It's got an excellent malt backbone. Uh, it's got really nice sweetness balancing out all them hops. Yeah, I'm not really like sure exactly what the malt I'm getting tastes like, but it's it's got enough sweetness to where it just really balances this beer out. It's not leaving any uh, lingering bitterness on the tongue or nothing. It's awesome lacing on the glass there. This beer has awesome malt backbone, an awesome hop profile. This beer is awesome. Mm. It's just a bunch of like tropical fruits with just a really nice pine note coming through and that kind of earthy spice in there kind of blending in there. Oranges, mangoes, tangerines, passion fruit, pine, grapefruit, I probably said that, some pineapple, everything, it's, it's got it all, this beer's got, got it all, man, I'm very impressed, 8.1%, you don't taste any raw alcohol notes, it's very well constructed beer. And all the tropical fruit notes that I'm getting and all the all the other hop notes I'm getting they're from the hops it doesn't taste like they blended any kind of fruit in with them I think they're getting all this flavor from the hops and it's really awesome it's like a west coast style a tropical west coast style it's really awesome oh this beer's Fantastic. I want every little bit in there. Once again, never better. I agree with that. This is awesome. Okay. One more time, we'll wrap it up. Cheers. Okay, the malt, now I'm starting to pick up. It's kind of like a bready malt, a sweet bread kind of malt. That's kind of like a, like Hawaiian sweet bread kind of malt. It's 
I like this a lot. I, I'm not getting any of that weird chalky uh, taste some beers have. Uh, it doesn't taste chalky at all. It's really nice. Yeah, that's pretty much what I got. Really nice lacing on the glass there. All right. Um, on a scale of one to five stars, uh, I'm going to give this one um, 4.6 out of five. It's, it's up there with some of the best I've ever had. Pretty much it's, it's one of the better ones I've ever had in my craft beer ex escapades. Very complex, man, and uh, just very well balanced. Pretty well priced. Uh, it's got a lot going, a lot going for it. So uh, 4.6 out of um, 4.6 out of 5. That's my story, and I'm sticking with it. I'll have the description of this beer at the bottom of the video in the description section. Please uh, like and sub, and uh, we'll catch y'all later. See ya.